Okay, so in this video we're going to look at the idea of bipartite graphs. And um, so I've got a graph and looks like I, I'm going to erase this. I labeled that edge, but that doesn't necessarily need to be there. Um, I've got a graph on the screen here, which turns out is an example of a bipartite graph. So we're going to go through and see how we can verify that that graph is bipartite. And we might make note from the beginning, um, we can see that there is kind of two natural groupings of the vertices. There's three over here and there's two over here and that's going to turn out to be kind of important in how we see that this graph is bipartite. So what we have to be able to do to verify that this graph is bipartite is we have to take this set of all the vertices in the graph and we have to divide that up into two subsets. So I'm going to create two subsets of those vertices where what has to be true about the two subsets are a couple things. The intersection has to be empty. In other words, there's no common elements or that means the two sets V1 and V2 are disjoint. And if we take the union of the two subsets, we get that original set V back, meaning that um, We've got to see all five vertices showing up in our two subsets. So uh, maybe my notation's a little confusing. Um, this is supposed to be a capital V1, not to be confused with the lowercase v1, right, and a capital V2, not to be confused with the lowercase v2. You could call these whatever you want. Maybe A and B would have been better to avoid confusion. Um, so anyway, which, oh, and then one final condition that has to be true is, um, so, so if I put, say, if I put, say, V1 and V4 in the same subset, well, I can't do that because the rule for a bar, uh, the rule for a bipartite graph is that uh, any two vertices that have an edge in between them have to go in opposite subsets. So, so we would know that V1 and V4 have to be in opposite subsets because there's an edge between them. Okay, so we have to follow that rule. And so based on that rule, we can just kind of start divvying up these vertices. V2 and V5 have to go in opposite subsets because there's an edge between them. And then V3 and V5 must go in opposite subsets. So I can't have V3 down here. It's got to be up here. Right, and being able to form these two disjoint subsets, right, where the edges look like this. You got V1 and V4, V2 and V5, V3 and V5. Right, that's how you verify that a graph is bipartite of the two sets are disjoint and you've used all the vertices, then that is by definition a bipartite graph. So you can see this one was drawn where the subsets V1 and V2 were kind of naturally, we could see those by the way the, the graph was, was drawn originally. So this graph is bipartite. Okay, so let's take a look at a graph that is not bipartite. Um, so we're going to verify that the graph is not bipartite in much the same way. We're going to attempt to divvy all of the vertices up into these two disjoint subsets. So you might just start with V1. Um, you'd say V1 and V4 have an edge between them, so they have to go in opposite subsets. Right, and then and then V1 and V3 have an edge between them, so they have to go in opposite subsets. So we're okay there. V1 is opposite V4, and V1 is opposite V3. That's fine. Uh, and then V3 and V5 have an edge between them, so V5 can't go in here. It's got to go opposite V3. And that's okay because there's no, so far we're okay, right? Because V1 and V5 don't have an edge between them, so no problems there. 
and let's see, we have V5 and V4 do have an edge between them, but those are already in opposite subsets, so that looks okay. Okay, so let's come down here to V6. Let's see, V4 and V6 have an edge between them, so that means we've got to put V6 here, because there's an edge between these two. But then, well, wait a minute, V6 has an edge going to V4, it also has an edge going to V5. All right, so, okay, so that means, that means I've got to put V6 here as well, because V6 has to be opposite V5. It's also got to be opposite V4. Okay, so this is going to be a problem. This is going to create a contradiction. So, we didn't talk a lot about proof by contradiction, but that's okay. We can see the contradiction here, I think. So, kind of the idea of a formal proof here would have been that we made the assumption, that we assumed that our graph was bipartite. We assumed that our graph was bipartite, which means if we make that assumption that we can divvy up our vertices into subsets V1 and V2, right? But what we found is that, what we found is that we can't. Our contradiction is that um, V6 must be uh, in both sets V1 and V2, uh, which is going to violate the condition that these sets are disjoint. Right? So we get a contradiction there, and when you come to a contradiction, that means your assumption was wrong. Right? We were wrong to assume that graph was bipartite, so that means that our graph is not bipartite. And I think that's the natural conclusion that you would make when you cannot correctly form these two subsets. So there's a graph that is not bipartite, and um, the idea of bipartite graphs is important in graph theory, and this gives you a, a brief introduction to the idea.